Good evening. A Seattle nuclear watchdog group is accusing the federal government of failing to keep the public informed of radiation from the Fukushima nuclear disaster. As environmental specialist Gary Chittum reports, the government has come out swinging on this one. The story is new at 6:30. In the days following the earthquake and tsunami in Japan, the U.S. began monitoring radiation from the leaking nuclear power plants. Most of the public attention went to the air monitoring, which showed little or no radiation coming our way. But things were different on the rainwater side. The level that was detected on March 24th was 41 times the drinking water standard in Olympia. Jerry Paulette of the watchdog group Heart of America Northwest is reviewing radioactive iodine-131 numbers released by the Environmental Protection Agency last spring. Our government said no health levels, no health level standards are being exceeded when in fact the rainwater in the Northwest was reaching levels 130 times the drinking water standard. Elevated rainwater samples were collected in Portland, Olympia, and Boise, which had the highest. We've got some lemon cucumbers, snap peas, basil. Got to have fresh vegetables. Out of the the same water fell on Kate Costanet's garden and was collected in her rain barrel. She did not know about the elevated levels. Certainly not use this for the vegetable garden. In fact, I probably wouldn't have even planted a vegetable garden if, I, if I'd known that. But EPA officials say the data was there for anyone to read on their website. And a spokesman sent us this statement. Since iodine-131 has a very short half-life of approximately eight days, the levels seen in rainwater were expected to be relatively short in duration. State health agencies added they constantly monitored public drinking water sources and never found levels even approaching the unhealthy range. And even the watchdog group admits watering plants with water exposed only briefly to those levels is unlikely to cause health problems. But they say that's information the public deserves to know. In Seattle, Gary Chittum, King 5 News. The EPA points out this was a brief period of elevated radiation in rainwater and says its safe drinking water standards are based on chronic exposure to radiation over a lifetime.